Is the Umidigi F1 Play a good phone to buy? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my full review video of the Umidigi F1 Play. So I've been using this phone for quite a bit now, and I've been using it with Cricut Wireless, and I've really had a great experience with it overall. The device is available on Amazon.com for $219.99. It's available factory unlocked, and that's a great thing because you can easily switch from carrier to carrier with no issues at all. You can also buy this phone on AliExpress and other smaller retailers, but I will be leaving links in the video description to both Amazon and AliExpress. The device features a 1080p display, and it's super good looking, super clear and crispy. It has a 409 ppi, which is really amazing, and features a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. It's 6.3 inches in size, so it's very large, and it's really perfect for browsing the web, watching movies, and I guess really doing anything that requires a good looking display. Overall, the phone has a really nice design. Up top, we have a teardrop notch, which is kind of the way that notches are heading nowadays. But overall, it's very unintrusive, and I really like the way it's been implemented. I like how the notch does not get in the way of the various notifications on the top, or really anything at all. So, Umidigi did a great job with kind of designing the whole layout and form factor of this phone. Even at the bottom, we do have a little bit of a lip, but it's really not large at all, and the device just looks great in general. Now, the front-facing camera is 16 megapixels, we're going to be doing a photo and video test later on in the video. On the back side, we have a dual camera setup here with a 48 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel secondary camera. Now with these cameras, you're going to be able to get bokeh mode, which is very similar to portrait mode, and it works really well. The device features 64 gigabytes of internal storage with the ability to expand that with a micro SD card. There is no wireless charging, unfortunately, with the Umidigi F1 Play, but we do get a fingerprint sensor on the back. The device features 6GB of RAM and runs the MediaTek Helio P60 processor. Video recording tops out at 1080p at 30 frames per second, and the device features a massive battery coming in at 5,150 milliamp hours. It runs Android 9 Pi software, so it is the latest version of Android, and Umidigi has done a great job with optimizing the software to work well with the hardware, and that's especially apparent with the latest update that the device has received. Now you might see in some videos that people were complaining about the cameras on this device, and the reason for that is because of bad software that they had in the past, but the Umidigi F1 Play actually just got a brand new software update from Umidigi, and it's pretty much fixed every problem that I had seen in the past with this phone. So, the camera issues are not there anymore, the cameras work really well, and you're going to see that in the test photos and videos that I'll be showing you in a little bit, but Umidigi has been providing some really good software support to the F1 Play, which is really good to see. Now I don't know down the road if we're going to get updates to Android Q and other versions of Android in the future, but I do know that as of now, this version of Android 9 Pi is greatly optimized for the phone and really works super well. Now that we've gone over the specifications of this device, let's take a closer look at the hardware. Now we already kind of went over the hardware on the front here with the 1080p display coming in at a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio and a 6.3 inch size with that teardrop notch on the top and the little lip on the bottom. But on the left side we have just the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. On the right side we have the volume rocker and power button. On the top we just have the noise cancelling microphone. On the bottom, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack, microphone, USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer, and the speaker. Then on the back side, we have the camera module, which again has a 48 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel secondary camera. We also have an LED flash, and we have the fingerprint sensor. Now, this is, of course, the red color. You can also get this in black, but I personally really like the red a lot. Now, this material on the back side of the phone is a polycarbonate material. It feels really high quality. It has kind of a nice soft feel to it as well, and overall I really like it a lot. I also like that it really doesn't absorb fingerprints at all, which is really great to see. So after receiving this latest update, I've been really impressed with the photo quality from the Umidigi F1 Play. I feel like it's really taken the cameras to the next level, 
And I'm really glad that they've decided to put in that awesome 48 megapixel camera into this phone. Both the front and rear cameras have produced really great results and there is really no room to complain here with the quality of the cameras on this device, especially for $219. This is probably the best photo quality that I've ever seen from a device in this price range, period. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here doing a test video in 1080p at 30 frames per second with the new Umidigi F1 Play. This device just had a major software update which has done a lot of changes to the way that the cameras record videos and take photos. So I'm really interested to know your thoughts on the quality from the camera on this device. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon right now, so a lot of direct sunlight. Probably not the best environment to be taking video, but I just wanted to let you know about that. Let's try out the autofocus in video mode. So you can see right now it's focused on these buildings in the background. But now I'll move up to a close-up image here with this text. You can see that I didn't even tap on the screen or anything. The camera automatically focused. So with this update, we finally have autofocus in video mode. And it autofocused on this flower, which is really awesome. So autofocus works really well. So not only did they implement autofocus for the first time, but it works amazingly well. So that's great. Let's do a close-up of this bark over here. All right, there you go. So yeah, let me know what you think of the photo and video quality. I'll be attaching some photos as well to this video, so let me know. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here doing a test video with the front-facing camera on the Umidigi F1 Play. Now the lighting today, right now, because it's in the afternoon, actually isn't very good. So if you're noticing that the lighting of the actual video itself is changing quite a bit, it's because I am right under a tree here. So I will move over here and give you a better idea of the lighting and how that looks. But let me know what you think. The device just went through a major software upgrade and the main purpose of that software upgrade was to fix the cameras. So I'm interested to know what you think of the video quality from the Umidigi F1 Play. Another thing that we gained with this latest software update is autofocus in video mode, which is really awesome as well. So let me know in the comments what you think of the photo and video quality from the Umidigi F1 Play. I think it's super solid and you also have to consider that this device is $219.99. This is not a $1,000 iPhone. So you really shouldn't compare the photo and video quality from this device to the iPhones and even the Google Pixel 3a which has some really good photo and video quality for $399 shouldn't even be compared to this phone because this phone is nearly half the price of the Google Pixel 3a. So you really need to consider the kind of bargain you're getting with the Umidigi F1 Play and the photo and video quality that you're getting with it because I don't think there's another phone out there that offers a better value with as good a photo and video quality as this device does. So the video viewing experience is also really good with the Umidigi F1 Play. The speakers are actually really nice and sound great. Of course, you're not getting the kind of speaker quality that you'd get with the iPhone XS or Galaxy S10. But still, remember that this is literally a fifth of the price of those phones, so you've got to keep that in mind. We have several different accessories in the box. So we have a USB wall adapter with Umidigi branding on it. We have a red USB Type-C cable, which is really good looking. And we have a cheap plastic case included as well. So it has kind of an interesting honeycomb design on the inside. And on the back, it has kind of a fake leather look to it. So this probably wouldn't provide a whole lot of protection, but it's still great to see that there is a free case included in the box. So is the Umidigi F1 Play a good phone to buy? And is it worth it? 
In my opinion, yes. I think this phone is a major win. I think for the price, it's really hard to beat. So it's an extremely competitive product from Umidigi. Definitely getting those software updates for the cameras is a big bonus here because that definitely needed to be fixed regardless. But I'm glad the software update has truly brought out the potential of this phone. And I'm really excited for it and excited for Umidigi. So who is this phone good for? I think the better question is, who is this phone bad for? Because you really do get a lot here for a small price. I mean, I think some highlights definitely have to be the MediaTek Helio P60 processor, which is great for gaming and really anything for that matter. You're going to get a solid battery with this device coming in at 5,150 milliamp hours. It runs Android 9 Pi, which is the latest version of Android, and it has a 48 megapixel rear-facing camera as the main camera. So there are just so many different things to like about this phone, and really no downsides with it. I think overall, all around, it's one of the best products that Umidigi has ever put out, and I already know this is going to be a hot seller for the company. So I'm really interested to know what you think about the Umidigi F1 Play. Do you have one already, or are you thinking of buying one? I want to know your thoughts about the phone. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful. Again, check out the links in the video description to see the latest pricing for the phone. But this is Kevin here, and this is the Umidigi F1 Play. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.